Thanks for playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game! Last time we showed off some of your own rejected update ideas from the comments, and since you enjoyed it so much, we are presenting even more of your own rejected updates, so let's a go! You've seen thwomps go down, sideways, diagonal, and in snake block directions, so what's the only direction they haven't gone? Forward! We are now adding a thwomp that will charge toward the screen when you get close and uh-oh, they break your screen, which makes it harder to see where you're going. And if there's one thing all Mario Maker players love, it's levels that obscure their vision. We know how much everyone loves the different night themes, so now we're adding the ability to switch themes in the middle of a level. Just go to the special new on-off switch and select which night theme to change it to when it gets hit. Then you can make some great setups like starting in the dark and switching to the wind or starting with low gravity and switching to upside down. We know you'll have lots of fun and not be frustrated at all. For years, Mario has stomped on Goombas, but now you get to live out your dream and become a Goomba with the new Goomba power-up. Just grab this Goomba mushroom and you'll instantly take on all of the Goomba's dynamic features like walking to the left and walking to the right. There are so many possibilities. Have you ever been all out of lives but don't want to lose your progress? Well now with microtransactions, just buy some more lives. In a tough part of a level and could really use a mushroom? Just charge it to your parents credit card. They played Mario when they were younger so they'll understand. Now if you play Panga's toughest level, Divine Garden, you can just purchase a door to the flagpole and then you can brag to all your friends that you're on the clear list. This icon on the clear list will show that you used a microtransaction, but if you want the icon removed, you can just pay a little more to have it hidden. A Super Mario Odyssey game mode has been one of the most common update suggestions, so we're finally delivering and letting you create levels that are based on Odyssey's 8-bit side-scroller minigames. Just place all of your items and enemies, and press play. We noticed how upset fans were when they found out that a bunch of items and enemies are unique to only 3D World, so for the Odyssey game mode, we're making sure to not have any unique items at all. That's right, this mode is basically the same thing as the Mario 1 game mode and just looks a bit different, but that's how we knew you would prefer it. The Koopa Car and Meowser are everyone's favorite things in 3D World, so we're combining them to make Meowser in a car. Just wait and see how many hours of fun you have. Introducing the Lava Suit. This lets you dive into lava as if it's water and swim all around. Even though you can't see anything down where you're swimming, we know you'll have a great time. We know how limiting the current online play is with only allowing four players at a time, so now we'll be adding up to 100 players. You might experience a tiny bit of extra lag, but it'll be worth it to play with 99 of your closest pals. Now it's your turn again! Be sure to post your own rejected ideas in the comments and a future video could feature your idea. Thanks for watching.